Welcome to our channel eTechnees. In this video, we will talk about the error which says this app has been blocked by your system administrator. We will talk about the method and the steps you have to use to fix this problem from basic to advanced. Along with that, if our method will not help you to solve your problem, then the link is given in the description of the forum page. There you can ask your question and we will try our best to write the answer of your question. Make sure you attach everything, the picture, the images, so that we can able to give you the right answer as per the problem. Now let's talk about the method. Method 1. Restart your computer. Simply restart your computer. Click on Windows icon. Click on this power icon and click on restart. Method 2. Unblock the app. For to unblock the app, do a right click on that application in which you are facing a problem. Select properties. Once you'll be on this screen, click on general and here you will see that option to unblock that application. As you can see on the screen, simply check that box, click on apply and OK. Method 3. Run the app as an administrator. Here you need to run the app as an administrator. For that, do a right click on that application. Select run as administrator. If you want to set up that app always run as an administrator, then do the same thing. Do a right click, select properties and here in the shortcut, click on this advanced option and check this box run as administrator. Click on OK, apply, OK. Method 4. Disable Microsoft Defender Smart Screen. For to disable Microsoft Defender Smart Screen, type in here Windows Security. Click on Open. Once you'll open it, click on this option and you will see App and Browser Control. Click on it. Click on this option, Reputation Based Protection Setting and turn off these options. Smart screen for Microsoft Edge, potentially unwanted app blocking, smart screen for Microsoft Store, and restart your computer to check if that helped you to fix the problem. Method 5. Turn off antivirus software. Here you need to turn off the third party antivirus software. If you have any kind of antivirus included not in McAfee or any antivirus you have on your computer. If you do not have any antivirus, then turn off the Microsoft security you have on your computer. Click on this arrow. Here you will see that third party application. Do a right click and turn off that application. For to turn off Microsoft security, double click on this icon. Here you will see this virus and threat protection. Click on it. Click on manage settings. Turn off these options. Real time protection, cloud delivery protection, automatic sample submission and temper protection. Turn off all of these options and restart to check if that help you to fix the problem. Now let's move on to the advanced method to solve your problem. Method 6. Use hidden administrator account. Here you need to activate the hidden administrator account. On Windows 10 or Windows 11, on both, you will find this hidden administrator account. From there, you can access the application and you can check why you're not able to access that application in your normal account. For to activate that administrator account, type in here CMD and make sure to run the CMD as an administrator. Click on yes. And here you need to type the command net user administrator space forward slash active semicolon yes press enter make sure you type the correct spelling here as you can see i typed a wrong one this command completed successfully now you can see the hidden administrator account for to access that hidden administrator account, click on Windows icon, click on your user account and select administrator account and you can access administrator account. If you are not able to 
activate the hidden administrator account from your user account then you can go to the advanced option and there you will find command prompt and you have to type the same command and you can able to activate the administrator account for that click on this windows icon press and hold the shift key on your keyboard click on this power icon click on restart here click on troubleshoot advanced options command prompt here you can see it says please wait select your account put the password if you have any password and type the command in here method 7 modify group policy setting for to modify group policy setting click here and type group click on open in this computer configuration you will see windows setting click on this arrow here you can see security setting click on this one once you'll be in here you can see the local policy click on this one and security options once you'll click on here you have to search for user account control run all administrators in admin approval mode simply type u on your keyboard and uh, you will find this one user account control run all administrators in admin approval mode double click on it and disable this one restart your computer and check if this help you to fix the problem if you have windows home then this option will not work for you method 8 use command prompt here you need to use a command prompt to run the application for that type in here cmd the command prompt select run as administrator click yes now do a right click on this application in which you have a problem select properties here you will see this target location copy the target location do a right click and copy it and paste in here and then press enter and make sure you copy the correct one properly here you can see that i'm facing a problem so copy that again copy it press this one or either press windows icon and then press e and paste in here and check if it's working or not here you can see that it's opening up you can paste in here as well and the same goes for command prompt as well if it's not working then you can try the file explorer as well method 9 reinstall the app simply uninstall the app and make sure you uninstall it properly and then reinstall it again on your computer to check if that helped you to fix the problem method 10 check for updates here you need to check you have installed the updates or not of windows 10 or the windows 11 simply click on this icon go to the settings update and security and here click on check for update and update your windows computer method 11 adjust user account control setting here you need to enter into the registry editor and from there you have to change some setting for that type in here registry make sure run as administrator click yes and here you need to find the location and before you make any changes make sure you back up your registry as well for that click on export and select your location type the name and save it to make sure if something goes wrong then you have a backup of your registry editor here you have to click on this h key current user click on software click on microsoft once you'll have a microsoft you have to search for windows once you'll find the windows then click on the current version and then the policies once you'll be in the policy then you will find an option of system once you'll find that option of system there you will find enable ua i'm showing you the screenshot 
how you can find that then select that one do a right click click on modify and change the value from 1 to 0 and after doing that simply restart your computer and check if that help you to fix the problem along with this you can use some other method as well you can run the app in the compatibility mode for that simply do a right click on the application click on property click on compatibility click on run compatibility troubleshooter and try the recommended settings here you can see that click on test program and you can see that my application is already working fine so it's showing up and there are some additional options you can try you can use a third party application to repair files related to that application there are a lot of other application i'll mention the list in the given description from there you can check that and if our method not helped you to solve the problem then make sure you ask your question on our forum page and we will try our best to give you the correct answer of that problem